And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive. Went off, and his running back did the rest. Someone read their keys correctly. And on the defensive side of the ball, they certainly did not because they really essentially were just going to swarm the quarterback. They kind of guessed themselves out of the play, and guess who benefited? The guy with the football. And the yards remain for second down. Back to throw here, Herbert. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That one good for 37 yards. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to them in open space and let them do what they do. Running on first down, Eckler. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Back-to-back two-yard losses, and that sets up a tough third and 14. Now Herbert. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Now a timeout called for by the offense as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. One of the tight ends comes in motion. Herbert, he'll buy some time right. They go with a shuffle pass, and it's complete. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. What an outstanding drive right there to take the lead, and also, Charles, didn't leave their opposition with a whole lot of time on the clock. Yeah, I like the way that you're viewing this because they did a tremendous job to put themselves in a position to win, but they can't celebrate just yet. They've got to clamp down on any big plays and force them to use up those timeouts without making any headway. Point after, right down the middle. And that will make this a four-point game. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. Taken from about the 12. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Ready? First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Oh, and a nice tackle, a six-yard pickup, but they need more than that. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. Tug of Iloa. He's going to let it fly. Oh, and that nearly ended it. That should have been intercepted, but he cannot corral it, and that is a lifeline there with third down coming up. 
These are the spots this stage of the game where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. Here's Tua. And that's intercepted yet again. And that could be the backbreaker. Picked off by Michael Davis. And the Chargers are going to hang on. Tackle. Now Burrow on first down. That's into a crowd and intercepted. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with it dropped at the 23-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hit the crap. And now Burrow going to be intercepted yet again. Picked off by the linebacker, Kyle Van Noy. A great pick, nice return, but you know he's just beating himself up inside for not getting all the way in. No doubt about it, because he had visions of end zone in his mind. Going to be the total hero. But we did see there the emphasis on it's not just good enough to pick it off anymore. Bring it. And he takes it in. People out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. And the Chargers are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. And this is one heck of an individual. First down, here's Burrow. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Sebastian Joseph Day breaking through for the sack. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. He's got a man complete. And they work this well up to the field across the 45. 27 yards there, a first down. What a throw right there for the first down. He has taken some real punishment in this game, but still standing in the pocket completing that one. He's a flat-out warrior. There's no question about that. How about him stepping up into the teeth of the rush and delivering there for that big strike and that big pickup? Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And Char Total prevent there. You know, they had the lead, and sometimes you fall back and you lose your aggressiveness. Not in this case. They were still making a play on the football, and look how that one turned out. They may have salted this one away. But with the late lead, Herbert's going to throw it. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. Off the play fake, here's Burrow sliding out of the pocket. Now Burrow loses the football and picked up by the Chargers. And a big turnover there as you guys will get the football back. All right, you've had to put up with me in this booth. I'm going to try and be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble's kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've tried, <laughs> but nothing has ever really taken throughout the game. That's why they're down so big. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Herbert. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. The uh, Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. They're going to pass here with Herbert. Working the middle here. That's complete to Everett, the tight end. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. But so far, little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to them, and it's paying off.
Touchdown, Chargers. Gerald Everett, a beast in the red zone. in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Play action here with Dalton. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Derwin James with a pick. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. Of line and running game imposing its will. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Now here's Mahomes. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. And the Chargers are going to get the football here at their own 23. This defense, Charles, coming up with another interception. They have really done an excellent job of locking up these receivers. Yeah, they're really on fire. They are actually doing what they talk about all the time, which is plastering to receiver. And they're in. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Mahomes to throw it. Catch is made by Hardman. And they move this all the way down to the nine. What a game we were treated to in this one and hit on it. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown. Chargers coming hard and they block it. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. And this is going to be a Charger touchdown. A great play there. Taking it in. And the credit to the defense here. They give him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks. And he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Back to throw here, Herbert. Mike Williams on the touchdown throw from Justin Herbert. And the Chargers have taken the lead here in this third quarter. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they've turned that half into a third quarter lead. In of the football. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, to a hit, and the ball is out. And picked up by the Chargers. 30, 10, 5, and he takes it back to the house. It's a fumble recovery and a Charger touchdown. Get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take a sack in a two-minute drill. That's going to be complete to his tight end, Everett. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 33. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Now he's hit on the return. It's a loose football. And hold everything here. This one is not over yet. They return it for the touchdown. They continue to fight. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Anytime they think they've got him open beyond the markers, you know they're going to throw it his way. And that's not going to change even after that incompletion was forced. To throw once more on second and 10, Herbert. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be ridden out of bounds. Outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They've reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. And yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways. But they had to like what they saw in that first half. That throw into the arms of Allen. On the move past the 40. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. 
in order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. And they'll have Herbert try and throw for it. Looking in zone. He thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. They snap it to Smith. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn rolling to his left. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. Herbert escaping the pressure right. Now a diving effort right sideline. He's got it. What an outstanding rush. And with that clock dwindling, they felt the need to take a pretty big shot there. Unfortunately, couldn't complete it. Oh, leaping, and he makes the grab. And a timeout coming in. This will be their final one with 10 seconds remaining. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through, and they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. Now Herbert going for the deep ball. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And he's in. Are you kidding me? How do you give that up? One of the most improbable ways to finish a game. And they do win it on the final play. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close.